and welcome to the Harriet Muller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. If you're a horse fan like I am, you're going to absolutely love this one. We're going to be drawing the cutest little baby foal you've ever seen. So get yourself some plain white paper, you'll need a pencil, an eraser and a black pen. And don't forget, if you like to draw horses, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you'll find in the link just here. So let's get started. We'll start off very lightly in pencil by doing a circle, which is going to make up part of the horse's body. So just in the center of the page, just very lightly, just draw a rough circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine really won't be, so really don't worry. You can draw around something if you like, like a coin or a cup or something. There's our first circle. So this is going to make up the shoulder of the horse. Now we're going to do a slightly smaller circle to the right hand side. So just a little bit smaller, just here. And don't forget, if I go a little bit too fast, please pause and rewind. There's absolutely no problem in doing that at all. Just go at your own pace. So there we have two circles. I'm just gonna make this one a tiny weeny little bit bigger. There we go. There we go. That's just about right. Okay, so now we're going to be drawing the neck. So that's going to be a triangle shape just here. So starting about here, we're going to go up just to here. Okay, so just going upwards, just draw a line. And then another one coming from here, we're going to join it up. So it makes a kind of triangle shape. Can you see that? This little foal is going to be so cute. It's jumping in the grass. Okay, so that's the neck. Next, we're going to do the muzzle. So we're going to be doing another circle just about here. So make this one about this big. Okay, so a nice circle like that going to make up the horse's muzzle. Okay, next we're going to join up the muzzle to the head. So draw a line just going upwards like that and then we're now going to do the ears. So another little triangle just up here, a line across, a line going upwards and another one going upwards just like that. That's going to be the ear. Next, from the ear, we're going to be drawing a line coming down to the muzzle. There we go. And then the eye. Well done for getting this far. You're doing very, very well. So now for the legs. So we're going to start off the legs by drawing the knee. The knee is just going to be here and it's going to look like this, just like a, an oval shape just here. Okay, I'm going to join the knee to the body. So there's the knee and I'm going to draw the top half of the leg, which is coming up just like there. There we go, I believe it's called the forearm. So there's the forearm. We're going to carry on this leg, it's going to come down. So we're going to do a diagonal line, diagonal line coming down here, okay. Now we're going to do the fetlock joint, which is just down here. And then that goes into another triangle, which is going to be the hoof. There we go, we've got one leg already. We're almost there, you're doing very, very well. So we're gonna draw the other leg, just peeping out from behind. It's gonna come out like this. And then this one's gonna be in the grass here. Just like that. Going to do the other behind leg, so just here, I'm going to be doing another oval shape. Okay, I'm going to draw a line coming up from this oval shape to the circle, and then one coming up on this side as well. I'm going to draw a line coming down towards the ground like this. And then the little hoof is just down there. 
just realized I've done this one a little bit too long. So we're just gonna have to go back and erase it. That's why we do these good preparatory stages because we can check the proportions of things. And if it looks just slightly wrong, then we've got a chance to change it before we go over it in pen. Okay, I'm gonna do the other hind leg now. So coming out from here and then downwards, we've got the other hind leg and the hoof. There we go, brilliant. Now, last but not least, the tail. So that comes out like this. And then, sorry, I forgot to say, we've got to put in the grass because this little foal is jumping around in the middle. So here's all the grass. It's actually gonna cover up a couple of the um, feet. So there we go. One little pony went to ride in a merida. Here we go. Excellent. Okay, so that's the end of stage one. On to stage two. So using your pencil, we're gonna press a little bit harder, but not too hard because we're still going to rub it out. So we're going to start off with doing the cheek and the jaw. So just draw the cheek in there. Cheeky little fold. We're then going to erase the muzzle part, but just enough so that we can still see it. Okay, so I'm going to add in the nose and it comes up and round. And that's the forehead. There we go. Okay, now we're going to draw the ear. So let's just erase this ear that we've got already, the little triangle shape, so that you can see it better on camera. So we're going to do a little bit more detail. So little ears are pointing backwards. There we go. Just like this. And then another little ear just poking out from behind. There we are. Okay, we're now going to do the crest, which is the back of the neck. Now this is a bit more rounded than that triangle shape that we did before. So I'm just going to make it a little bit more rounded, just like this. Okay, you with me? We're then going to add the mane while we're here. So, this lovely little, little full kind of very soft baby down mane. There we go. Just like that. Next, we're going to go back to the nose. So, just do like, if you can imagine um, an apostrophe, that kind of apostrophe shape. So that's what the nostril is gonna be like. Then another line coming round underneath it. We're going to do the mouth. And that comes round like this. And this particular little foal has got its tongue sticking out. So just draw a little tongue just there, okay? then the lower lip and then the chin. Okay, we're just going to raise the dot that we did for the eye. I'm going to actually put in the eye. So this is gonna have beautiful big eyes. So draw a big circle like this, big circle like that, just quite lightly. And then a line coming across because the eyelids just have to open just like this. Okay, you with me? Well done guys, you've got so far. And then the eyeball. And then we're gonna color it in apart from a little glint of light. There we go. So a random fact, did you know that foals can stand up within two hours of being born? Isn't that amazing? And they can actually gallop within 24 hours of being born. I couldn't believe that when I read that. Okay, so there we have it. Now we're going to carry on with the body. So bring it around and then going to do the front part of the shoulder. Just come down and round like this. And then we're going to do the knee. So let's just erase what we did before just so we can see it a little bit better. Okay, so the front part of the knee comes round inwards. And then we've got the leg. And then this fetlock joint, which comes around like that, and a part called the pastern. So, 
putting in all my horsey lingo. So I didn't really know any of these any of this terminology before I started, so don't worry. <laughs> Alrighty. So a hoof here. And it comes inwards and out. And then the back part of the knee. And not quite that straight, so we're just going to raise this a little bit. There we go. Comes round and up and goes directly upwards, just like this. We're just going to add a little muscle kick, just like that. Okay, we're going to draw the leg behind as well. So you can see a tiny bit of it peeking out from here. And then there's a bit just here. So bring it all the way down and you actually can't see the hoof very well because it's lost in amongst the grass. So we're just going to do the back of it. I'm just erasing these lines just so you can see it properly. So the back of this part and then the back of this leg. You can just about see the thick up joint but you can't make out any more of it. There we go. So we're getting there. Next we've got the back. So the top of the shoulder, these are called the withers, and then you come down and then get to the buttock area, comes down like that, and you come round, just follow the circle that we did before, and then it comes in a little bit. So this part I'm just going to erase just so that we can see it a bit better. Okay. go so that's all erased and then got what's called the hop so this comes down and in comes all the way down just like that cool so now we're going to do the front part of the thigh here we go I'm just erasing these preparatory lines that we did before and round about here Follow it round, it comes all the way down. And then we're just going to bring this downwards, just like this. And it's actually going to go inwards like that. Okay, so the hind leg, I'm just going to raise the preparatory drawings that we did before. So this is why we don't press too hard because then we can't erase them very well. <laughs> This hind leg follows round and then comes downwards just like that and then just to do the joint comes all the way down okay now we're going to draw the belly so I'm just getting rid of this line just a straight line just going across Okay, I'm just going to add another muscle here. I'm just going to move this little line just further to the right. This is the beauty of doing it in pencil. You can just make amendments. So just move this a little bit to the right hand side and it comes in again. Okay, there we go. That looks much better now. Okie dokie. So now I'm just going to do the grass properly. And then next, I'm going to go over this all in pen. I'm going to speed it up a little bit and I'm going to rub out all the pencil lines. Okay, so last but not least, I left the fun bit to do with you guys. So let's do the tail. So just doing a lovely little bushy tail. It's not that long, um, because obviously this little foal's just been born. 
So here's another random fact, full of random facts today. A foal's leg length is almost as long as it is when it reaches adulthood. So that's why they've got these really long legs in comparison to their body. So I'm just adding a bit more shadow underneath this tail just here. There we go. Add a little bit of shadow here underneath the mane. Just at the base of the mane. All the way along. Just like that. Add a tiny bit of shadow underneath here. And the neck here as well. And on the belly. Just the areas where the sun doesn't catch it. And just here. Underneath here. Underneath here. And obviously the hoof. Keep a little bit of shine there. We're just going to add a little bit more shadow just on the back of the leg here. And on the underside of this leg. There we go. So we're just going to add in some more muscles. So along here, there's a muscle going down. Just like that. Okay. There's a muscle coming around here. And then there's one going along here. One on this front leg here. And also we have quite a few muscles on the back leg. So one here. Draw a couple of knobbly bits on the um, on what's called the hock at the back, back knee. Another muscle coming up like that. And then the same on this side, one coming down there, one running along the back, and then last but not least, one here. Okay, and then there's a tiny little bit of muscle there. There's one going along the face just underneath here. And then, oh, we've got to draw the star in the forehead. So, there we go. That's just a marking that we did. And then one there. And I think we are almost pretty much done. Just one there. Okay, I could go on forever. I think I better stop. <laughs> so there is our finished foal drawing. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please check out my other drawings on how to draw horses in various positions and hit subscribe and like and I really do hope to see you on the next one. If you've got any more requests, just let me know. Pop them in the comment section below. Thanks very much. Bye bye.